Welcome to the session on human resource management. Uh, the topic what we are going to cover in this presentation is about uh, employee empowerment. When we talk about employee empowerment, nothing but you know when an employee works for our company, managers has to give them an autonomy to take a decision making instead of coming back to you know uh, the superior or a boss for even a small small petty kind of an you know decision making so that's what exactly it's all about employee empowerment the idea began doing this employee empowerment is the employee will feel very privileged when this kind of an autonomy has been given to him and when we try to delegate the decision making to the lower level they feel very much associated with a particular job hence you know they will feel the ownership of the particular job and ultimately that leads to a better kind of a job satisfaction and uh, when the job satisfaction is better obviously even the productivity will be better that's an idea behind an employee empowerment today majority of the big leaders they believe in completely employee empowerment and uh, you know the traditional kind of a mindset is they don't delegate an authority and ultimately you know for even a small small things you need to go back to your boss for taking a decision making and then take his concurrence and then based on that you know completely a decision making will be done now let's try to look at uh, what are the topics or an objective we'll be covering under this particular topic so basically there are two subtopics we'll be covering under this particular uh, main topic on employee empowerment uh, first to start with the first topic it's all about employee empowerment concept what is this employee empowerment is all about and how a leader will uh, you know probably approach for this empowerment and what is the way the decision making has been delegated so that's what exactly we are going to look at in the employee empowerment concept the second major top subtopic is about uh, what are the kind of a method we can adopt or what is the kind of a level in which employee empowerment can be done for example actually in japan uh, employee empowerment is very very popular because of the employee empowerment only Jap japanese organization could able to excel very well and ultimately you know they could be able to reach a high level productivity so what is the kind of a japanese uh, methods and uh, you know the kind of an employee empowerment techniques they use it so that also we are going to cover so these are the major two topics we'll be covering under employee empowerment 